Hello fellow simmers and have I got a quick tutorial for you. I don't know if you've noticed but uh, lately there's been missing buildings, missing gauges and stuff from my flight sim add-ons that I have. Uh, mainly the quality wings. As far as the add-on airports go I've not seen any issues but uh, I've read online where there has been some issues. There's a simple solution, and that is by going to fsdreamteam.com, or you can go to flightbeam.net. Either way, you can download the add-on manager. Works with either one, and uh, I prefer to use FS Dream Team because it's a really simple add-on manager to get to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the FAQ up here. We're going to click on that. It's going to take us to a page that has a bunch of uh, little troubleshooting things on it. And if you go to where's the standalone add-on manager, you'll see there's a hyperlink here. You're going to click on that. And it's going to give you a couple of options. Depending upon, of course, what you're using, you're going to either download this one or you're going to download that one. Simple enough, right? You're going to download that, you're going to install it, and if you're using Windows 7 or above, you're going to right-click on the execute file, and you're going to click Run as Administrator. Yeah, pretty standard stuff for everything now. And if that doesn't work, you're going to want to go to flightbeam.net, which is right here. And if you if you look at their uh, homepage, whoa, you're going to see that there's a little blurb up here that says if you recently experienced missing buildings or missing add-on manager menu, please download VC2013++ Runtimes from Microsoft. Gives you a nice little hyperlink here. You can go ahead and you can copy that and paste it into your browser. It's not an active link. I'm not sure why they didn't make it active, but they did not. So copy, paste that, follow the instructions from Microsoft install that and it should take care of you if by chance this does not take care of you then I would say you need to contact either flight beam studios or you need to contact FS dream team if this video helped you please throw us a thumbs up and subscribe that lets us know that what we're doing is helping you folks out until next time keep your head in the clouds flight sim productions is not responsible for your computer Doing any of these exercises is done at your own risk. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Flight Sim Productions.